you know, the SAFE Act does have me down. It really does. In studio here right now is Mitch Pazdik, Jr. He's the editor and publisher of the Golf News. Mitch, come on in. Good morning. How you doing? Morning, Bill. Well, I'm not sure that we're going to see the sunshine much over the next couple of weeks, but it's time. 60s and 70s, golf season is underway. You're right, and the weather may not be that good, but it, uh, you know, we just have to bear with it. We got, uh, I think I heard you earlier today talking about uh, Christmas Day, and we had uh, a kind of a false start to the golf season, but now the real yeah. season is here. Yeah, I mean, people got, to, we've had some extended season uh, over the last couple of years. Yeah, and I also heard the stuff uh, about global warming yeah. and that, and, you know, Bring it on. That's yeah, what I said. Right, right. Yeah, I mean, that's right. Yeah, we can use it here. <laughs> if I right. could say just one thing, if, yeah. you, if you don't mind, I get this in. Yeah. Uh, what I want to say is because I heard about, the, of course, we all heard about the Navy SEAL who died over and over. Yeah, Iraq. it was terrible. And I just want to say uh, thank you to all the vets who mm-hmm. are listening. I want to say uh, thank you to Vinny over in Chadwick's. He knows who I'm talking about. Okay. And uh, for his service. And anybody who's not a vet, uh, Anytime you get a chance, uh, thank vets for their service. And over at Hidden Valley Golf Course, the tight end of golf, mm-hmm. on on the golf bench, on the sixth hole, I believe it is, it says hire a vet. And a picture of that is going to be in the golf news issue coming up. That's awesome. So I just, I just want to say that. Hey, uh, and it's a very good point. Um, and, uh, you know, it's not just the veteran themselves. It's the, it's the family that sacrifices as well. That's right. You know, right. I mean, Absolutely. the worry and the and uh, and the scare, and then of course, when something like this happens to uh, this Navy SEAL, a story like this, uh, it's just it's crushing. It's right. terrible for them. Right. So. But uh, without them, we wouldn't be where we are today. We wouldn't have a country. Exactly. So, all right, let's talk about um, the golf news. Okay. Um, do you have a website that goes along with this? Yeah, by the way? it's it's. I hate to say this, but it's true uh, because for ten years I wasn't doing this because I just didn't have time. Yeah. So the website is under construction, Got and it, it okay. is. GolfNewsNY.com. Uh, it will it will be up and running in probably another week or two. It's being worked on. So okay. if people go uh, there. I don't want them to say, "Oh, there's nothing here." Sure, but yeah, it's coming. I also have, and this is a, a really good, a blog, and it's in uh, it's GolfNewsAndViews.blog.spot.com. And when we first try to set it up, I we'll said, link that so people yeah. don't have to remember. Oh, okay, it, so. yeah. Because when I first tried to get, it, I said, "There's no way the golf news and views is not yeah. taken." But yeah. when we went in, it wasn't. So yeah, anyway. well, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, all right, so uh, what are we talking about here today? What, okay, uh, what do you uh, want to talk about? Okay, okay, just kind of briefly, the uh, first issue of the season for the golf news should be out in people's hands by the end of next week. We originally wanted to have it out by April fifteenth, and I just want to tell Mike down at the Alien Knights of Columbus that it is being done. Mike, okay. listen to me, it's being. And uh, the, n- no surprise to anyone, the big article, the feature article, is my interview with Derek Bard from New Hartford oh, yeah. for going to the Masters, and now he's going to the U.S. Open. And, you know, he and his whole family are just great people. Yeah. So it's, and great it's, athletes, by the way. Yes, yes. Um, they're the they're, they're younger brother. Um, and then there's a there's a sister, sister too. That uh, I'm Sid, Sydney is has been a golfer, but I asked uh, Derek about her, and Sydney now has a strong interest in ice hockey. Yeah, so she doesn't play as much golf as she used to. But they're all a good athletes. You're right, uh, good all uh, You got to let them go their way, right? right. And um, and it's funny. It's it, you know a professional athlete when you, you put a, a, a golf club in their hands. Right. It's really incredible to yeah. watch. Um, and and almost every pro athlete that I've ever been able to to get near. Um, is awesome at golf. That's right. In uh, fact, um, uh, the Mike and Ilian, he, uh, I gave him a seven-page article about Mickey Mantle mm-hmm. in golf. Yeah. And it talked about, basically, Mickey Mantle was a golf fanatic. Uh, what's your favorite course in the area? Uh, okay. I'm going to say I'm going to say That's can't, not easy. No, uh, right, probably no, putting number you one, spot, it's not so. easy. But I am now, <laughs> this just happened this winter, I am now the golf pro at Heron Creek over near Clinton. Okay. So uh, I can't say it's not. But uh, it's ho- so hard for me because uh, every year the National uh, Golf Foundation says that this area ranks in the top five in the country in number of public golf courses per capita. Wow. So I call this area golf paradise mm-hmm. when we try to get tourists to come here because we have so many golf courses. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. And then, of course, you uh, you have what the Turning Stone has done. Uh, that's right. It's, I mean, those courses are just incredible. Gorgeous. Yeah. And yeah. that's kind of a, a key part of uh, – because I offer golf packages yeah. Yeah. for people to come up here. And obviously, Turning Stone, both for the casino but the golf courses, is – 
people know it yeah. you know, around the country. You know, if I can just throw out a plug as well, you mentioned Heron Creek. I've been a member there for uh, a number of years, and I think I'll have to curtail my, my golfing quite a bit now with a, with a new child. But a uh, beautiful course there at uh, Heron Creek, and I'm a walker. I like to walk. It helps me kind of shed some pounds, but they have a beautiful nine-hole course. I have to tell you, though, I am always impressed with Valley View. I love I love yeah. Heron Creek. Valley View is a beautiful course, a yeah. lot of different things going on. And I play in the tournaments there, and I hate when there's a tournament because they cut the green so low. It's like you're putting on ice. It's yeah. just. Yeah. But there's a lot of lot. I mean, I could probably name eight to ten really beautiful golf courses in our area. So uh, uh, throw out some that are uh, the okay. hidden uh, uh, that uh, yeah. you might not normally think of. Um, okay, well, this one people think of but think uh, better of it now, which is Crestwood. Mm-hmm. And Steve Nashowitz and his family, since they've taken it over, those of those people who played the course, and I'm not going to mention the prior owner's name yep. at no yep. point in that. But anyway, the course wasn't as good as it could have been and was. And now it is back and it's good. So that course has come back. Uh, Newport Golf Club in Newport, Newport yeah. beating Tony Greigel. That course is just beautiful. Yeah. I agree with you about Valley View. And th- that's one thing about the golf courses uh, around here. Not only are they nice courses to play, but they're scenic. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Amazing and Valley views. View for within a city. Right. A municipal golf course. Right. I mean, it's incredible when you think it, about it. Is. It is. Yeah. And one other course, I just mentioned this because I just got a tour of the new nine uh, down in Herkimer, Holland yeah. Heights. Uh, they've always had good views of the nine holes they had, and their next nine is going to be open on May 30th. They're having a tournament there. And down the road, Mohawk Valley Country Club, also yeah. on the hills, yeah. they're now 18-hole golf course. So not only is golf uh, good, but some of the courses are even even how's expanded. The, how, how's the back nine at the... At, uh, the country club it, it's uh i have it was young it. it was it was early and they said that you know it kind of had to grow into its uh, into its own but that's it has grown yeah. into its own now i haven't actually played it but I, I know a lot of the members down there and i've asked them and i've yeah. asked mark lane the pro there and it yes yeah, grown into its own and it's a nice it's a little bit different yeah. which is nice from the front nine but it makes it a nice 18 hole i like uh, i like dodie's uh, in alien it's oh, yeah. nice it's yeah. been around a long time oh yeah nice uh, well, it's funny course. you should uh, say that because i know this radio station had its 90th anniversary in december mm-hmm. okay Doty's this year is having its 85th anniversary. Wow. And uh, I got an article about that in the background. Cool. And uh, one thing, there's the donut hole there. And I in the article, I say where that came from because I had no idea. Mm-hmm. And Steve Doty sat down with me and says, well, here, I'm going to tell you as he built the course why there's why there's a donut there. Yeah, yeah. So Interesting. Um, Andrew. Yeah, that uh, the Mohawk Valley Country Club uh, back nine, I remember my aunt and uncle are members there. And her and I golfed, I want to say two summers ago. It was like the first year of it. And it was okay. A little then. rocky, I heard. Little, it was, yeah, it was yeah. a little rocky, yeah. and, and the grass hadn't really come in yet in some of the fairways. But um, when you say it's different than the front nine, it definitely is a little more more open, and you get some some nicer yeah. views yeah. there. So I, I I think it's a good balance for that course. Uh, so it's amazing, really, when you think about it, uh, how much is is out there. Oh, and yeah. we haven't mentioned Cooperstown or anything. Oh, right. Like, I right, mean, right. Uh, Rome Country some, Club. Yeah. Uh, right. Cooperstown, yes. Pine Hills is a nice little gem. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, Turning yeah the Stone. new clubhouse. i got to say that. I'm glad you brought that up because Carl Grigo and his son, Clayton, they did just a great job building that clubhouse. Yeah. And a lot of the lumber in that came from trees on the golf course. Oh, okay. They can point to the bar, for example, and say, this came from whatever hole. Wow, and, that's really cool. Yeah, that is yeah. Cool. amazing. And I, I do have to say... There's probably about 35 that we are not mentioning. Yes. And uh, apologies to them because they're really just, we have a lot of great courses and a lot of people have their favorites. Right. And, right. Um, you know, that is what it is. All right. Anything else you want to talk about that's coming out? Uh, where, where do people get this, by the okay. way? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. The golf news is, av- is available uh, free to all the golf courses in the area that I can that we can get to. Uh, my business is a sole proprietorship. I basically do the writing, take the pictures, and so, with some help from volunteers, yeah. including distribution. So mm-hmm. we try to get out there as much as possible. The only other thing I want to mention, and I think maybe you know about this, is there's a magazine called Editor that's also free. I do a golf column now in there. Okay. And so yeah. they have also articles about golf courses. And they got, matter of fact, they got Mark Valley Country Club in here and Mark Lane and so forth. So uh, that comes out once a month. So uh, the golf news uh there, we have a subscriber list, but it's basically free at golf courses at a lot of the restaurants in the area, and also at doctor's office, dentist's office, library, places where people sit and wait, Got and it. they're just okay. looking around for something to... You are read. a busy man. <laughs> you are. <Yeah. laughs> How about this for a slogan? Okay. Global, global warming, good for golf. 
I mean, yeah, I know. At least around here. I would have, well, no, yeah, yeah, absolutely. At least around yeah, here. So you're right. Yeah, you're right. Crazy. Uh, all right, sir. Thank you so much for coming in. It's uh, okay, Mitch Pesdick Jr. Uh, look for it. The golf news, all the golf courses, and uh, those popular spots that uh, newspapers and magazines sit. Okay. Thank good you. Stuff. Thank you very much, Bill. Thank you. It's good to be here. Thanks so much. Got a break. Cold on. Coming right back at WIBX. I don't know if you.